Thank you, Mr. President. My question is to the Parliamentary Secretary for Industrial Relations. Parliamentary Secretary, are you taking any steps to ensure that the bungled opening of the Metro is not further delayed uh, by threatened industrial action by the Electrical Trades Union? A point of order, the Honourable Penny Sharp. I know that the Honourable Chris Rath likes to ask questions of our very capable Parliamentary Secretary, but I believe this is well beyond uh, the bounds of which he um, he is responsible for and is out of order. To the point of order, the Honourable Chris Rath. Point of order, um, the Honourable Mark Buttigieg is the Parliamentary Secretary for Industrial Relations. The question is specifically about an industrial relations matter, that being industrial action that has the potential to delay the Metro uh, by the Electrical Trades Union. If that doesn't fit uh, within the Parliamentary Secretary's remit, then I don't know what his job actually is. Thank you. Um, I don't uphold the point of order, and I, but I do make these comments. Um, the standing orders of this place were changed in order to allow parliamentary secretaries to also answer questions alongside ministers. But it is clear that parliamentary secretaries aren't ministers and so may well not have the same level of information and uh, involvement in issues as ministers do. That having been said, the Honourable Chris Rath is perfectly within his entitlements um, to ask this question. It is an appropriate question. But the Parliamentary Secretary, on the other hand, is perfectly within his entitlements if he wishes to either take it on, to take it on notice if he wishes or answer it if he wishes. The Parliamentary Secretary has the call. Uh, I would just say this to the Honourable Member, and I thank you for his questions. Um, Unions have a right to participate in uh, the industrial uh, uh, action and activity uh, uh, in accordance with the law. There is a clearinghouse for that. It is called the Fair Work Commission. And, um, and the, the remedies are, are well laid down and it's for unions to pursue those remedies in accordance with the law. And I might just point out that as a result of those actions opposite in in their terms of government when they sold off the electricity assets, we might have been in a position to do something about it had we still owned them. A in the event order, we the don't, Chris, and we can't. You the nerve. To, the, <laughs> to the point of order, uh, Mr President, my very specific question was about what steps the parliamentary secretaries uh, taking regarding industrial action delaying the metro. It had absolutely nothing to do with the privatisation of electricity assets by the previous government. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I do uphold the point of order, although the word electrical in some cases, probably by the Treasurer, could be spun to uh, imply that, that that is relevant, but it is not. So does the Honourable Parliamentary Secretary have anything further to add? No. Thank you. A supplementary question. The Honourable Chris Rath. Thank you, Mr. President. A supplementary uh, question to the Parliamentary Secretary. If he could please uh, elucidate on the threatened industrial action, which is in support of a 26 per cent pay rise over three years, uh, where the unions rejected a 10.5 per cent pay rise over three years, as it would, uh, quote, not keep up with the cost of living. Um, in particular, if the Parliamentary Secretary could support, is the Parliamentary Secretary supporting the union's campaign uh, despite it, its potential to, uh, to um, devastate the stable running of the Metro? The Honourable Daniel... Uh, uh, whoever. It's all right, you go. The Honourable Daniel Mookie. So, order, order. There's a few. I, I, I might have the first crack and I'm sure the Leader of the Government might follow suit. But at first instance, uh, I would say that it's calling for the, secretary, the parliamentary secretary to express an opinion. And secondly, uh, it contains quite a bit of argument as well. And third, it goes beyond uh, the administrative affairs for which effectively the parliamentary secretary is responsible. Uh, you are quite right to say people should ask questions of parliamentary secretaries, but it still has to follow the thread that it has to be relevant for a matter in which they have actual administrative and or control or responsibility. Uh, and I would argue that a question of whether or not you support something doesn't at all go out within the ambit of what the Minister of the Parliamentary Secretary is responsible for. Thank you. To the point of order, the Honourable Chris Rath. Um, to the point of order, there's no um, opinion being uh, asked for in the question. It's simply saying whether the Parliamentary Secretary is supporting the union's campaign, um, which is an opinion. It's a matter of 
whether he is or if he is not. Um, it's not, um, uh, uh, there's no question of argument in the, que in, in the question. I mean, I don't know what adjective in particular, in, in particular that, the, that, the, that the Treasurer has a problem with, um, given the industrial action is threatening the stable running of the Metro. Um, and I think it is well and truly within the remit of the, of the Parliamentary Secretary for the reasons I outlined before. Thank you. Does the Honourable Chris Rath have a copy of the question or did he um, see if it's spontaneous? No? Excellent. Uh, so, thank you um, for the points of order. I, I don't uphold them. Um, I don't think that there is significant argument uh, within the question. I don't think it's calling for an opinion. I think it's calling for a statement of fact. Are you supporting the campaign? Uh, and I do think, although uh, the, both the leader of the government and the, um, the Treasurer uh, is right to point out the uh, deep level of expertise held by parliamentary secretaries is different to ministers. I do think it's in order, but the parliamentary secretary has the opportunity to answer it in any way that he wishes. The parliamentary secretary has the call. Oh, thank you, Mr. President. Order, um, order. I just make the point to the member, um, order. I mean, it's a very simple statement of fact. I support the right of uh, unions to negotiate with employers on behalf of their members. Um, it would be highly unremarkable, I think, that a union would go into bat for its members and sometimes make ambit claims, which eventually will be resolved through legal means via the industrial relations system. Um, and, and I would just urge the union to sit down with the employers, try and come to a speedy resolution on behalf of the um, uh, people of New South Wales. But uh, if the member is suggesting that somehow unions shouldn't have the right to do that, I disagree. Mm.